and welcome back to the Media Hub Minute. I'm your host, Justice Lewis. Here are the top headlines for the Columbia Chronicle. A game design student at Columbia is accusing the college of denying his father access to the bathroom in the 916 South Wabash building. Jose Valencia III told reporters that a security guard at the building would not let his father into the building to use the bathroom, even though he's disabled and it was an emergency. The security officer told the father and son to leave the premises or risk getting arrested. The college said in a statement that family members are allowed to use the restroom. Columbia President Kwang Woo Kim said the college is facing enormous financial difficulties and will need to increase tuition to attract new students to address a budget deficit. He delivered the news at a town hall for the campus community on Thursday, April 13th. The college will need to increase class sizes and offer fewer course selections in order to cut operational costs. But in terms of the professional success, I would hope that we believe as a community that our students are capable of doing just about anything they can imagine if the educational model supports that broad range of exploration. The Chronicle published its first story under La Cronica, a section of our news operation dedicated to reporting in Spanish. I'm joined now by Miranda Bucio, a third-year journalism student and our first contributor to La Cronica. Thanks for coming on the show, Miranda. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Can you tell me about why you believe it's important for the Chronicle to have La Cronica and to report in Spanish? I think it's important because it makes reporting more accessible to Spanish speakers. It also makes the Chronicle inclusive mm -hmm. to Latinx Columbia students and to their family members who only speak Spanish. Yo pienso que es importante porque hace el reportaje más accesible para los hispanohablantes y también hace el la crónica más inclusive para los estudiantes latines y también para sus familiares que solamente hablan español. Thank you, Miranda. That's all for this edition of the Media Hub Minute. Stay up to date with campus news by signing up for our weekly newsletter on social media and at columbiachronicle.com. I'm Justice Lewis. See you next week.